Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a setup slash desk tour. I've been wanting to do one of these for quite a while now, and now I've got the time to get around to doing it. Also, I want to apologize before we start the video about the not so good audio and not so smooth shots of the setup because I don't really have the equipment to be doing nice smooth shots and slider movements and stuff like that. And also, I don't have that good a microphone and my room is really echoey. So I'm using my iPhone to record the audio in a cupboard, which is not so echoey. And I want to apologize for the big white patches in the walls. They're from uh, filling up holes that came from shelves that I'd removed earlier on. Most items in this video will be linked in the description below if you're curious on where I got them from and like how much they cost. So first off, I've got a swivel chair from Ikea. It's quite an old chair, so I had it lying about the house, so I thought I'd go and use it, because no one else is using it. The Flintan chair, and it costs £55. It's got breathable material on the back of it. Um, it's not that comfortable, but um, I, it does the job quite well. I'd like to get a more comfy chair, but I can't be bored replacing it, and it, it's got nothing wrong with it, so... The starting point to the actual setup is probably the desk. This is a white IKEA Mikey desk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it costs 60 pounds. It's got lots of storage room, lots of drawers, cupboards. Um, it's white and it goes with my room. I wish I got a glossy version because this one's got lots of chips. It doesn't come out as bad in the glossy version and it's got good cable management, and it's got a little shelf underneath for cables, but we'll talk about that later. Now let's talk about peripherals. I'm using the Apple Magic Keyboard that came from my iMac. It works pretty well. It looks good. It will cost you £100 brand new. It's wireless as well. I'm also using a Polaroid mouse that I bought from Asda. It costed £15. It's probably no longer available. You probably can't buy it on the internet anywhere. It was a low-cost pro-style mouse, so I like the MX Master, but it was really cheap. It's got a comfy thumb rest. It's got lots of extra buttons that do extra things for you. I don't use the Magic Mouse because it's less comfortable, and it's only got one button, so you can't right-click, so you need to hold control down and right-click, which is quite annoying when you're editing video. I use wireless peripherals because it makes your desk look a lot more cleaner, more simple, no cables about the place, and don't really need fast response time, I'm not doing any sort of gaming or anything. Next is the 12 South High Rise iPhone dock. It cost me £40, I definitely think that's quite that's worth it. It keeps your phone up whilst it's charging, you can use it whilst it's charging. It's got quite sturdy quality feel to it, it's made out of aluminium. I've had it for about three, three years now, it's a bit scuffed up. I definitely recommend that. Also on my desk, I've got a lamp from Ikea called the Forza lamp. It costs £16. I think it sits quite well just in the corner of my desk. It looks quite like the Pixar lamp, which I quite like about it. And it's quite adjustable. It's got a little mini Coke bottle opener on top of it, on the base of it as well, which I got around Christmas time. The computer is the core to the setup, and in my setup, I'm using a mid-2011 iMac. It's got a 21.5 inch display running Mac OS High Sierra, 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor. It's got 12 gigabyte of 1300 megahertz DDR3 RAM, and it's got 500 gigabyte of storage. It's got an AMD Radeon HD 6750M 512 megabyte graphics card. Despite being nearly seven years old, it performs pretty well in 1080p video editing in Final Cut Pro. I am looking to replace it with a MacBook Pro when I can afford it, but right now I've got to stick with this. It's not so bad. Behind there's a Thunderbolt connected 500 gigabyte external lacy hard drive, which I keep footage and finish projects on. This cost about £70. There is also a cable leading to a one terabyte external hard drive, which I'll show in a minute. Stuck to the back of the desk, there is an LED strip from Ikea called the Leadberg, which costs £12. It's made of three connected pieces and a button to control, which I've stuck to the bottom of the desk. 
It's got three modes, which are sudden changing colors, a constant color, or a smooth transition of all the colors. It's a pretty good cheap LED strip if you're looking for one that isn't like a Philips Hue one. Now let's talk about cable management. I think I've done a pretty good job of cable management on my setup. I've got cables from the iMac running down the back of the desk to the cable shelf where they're tie wrapped together for all the other cables and from there they go to the bottom shelf at the built in cupboard which I like which I call the hub. The hub is just a bunch of the cables plugged into a big surge protector. All the power from that goes up out that cupboard along the cable shelf then down the leg of the desk to a plug. I think it's pretty good because it's just one cable going into the plug instead of having like a bunch of them all going everywhere. Also in the hub there is a one terabyte hard drive which I use as a time machine backup for the iMac. That sums up my setup, I hope you enjoyed the video and I also apologise again for the not so clean shots and the terrible audio. Most of the items you see in the video will be linked into the description. Also leave any suggestions on how to improve the setup in the comments. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in my next video.